Moving up to the Jiva Australian Education Roadshow, I am here with the director and founder of Jiva Education, Ms. Sajiva, welcome. And of course, joining her will be Mr. Ishak, who is the branch office uh, manager of the premier office of Jiva Education, if I'm right. And of course, today we are going to be talking to you a little bit more about what's to expect with these uh, amazing two days that's going to be coming up, the Australian Education Roadshow. So first of all, tell me how you guys are feeling about everything, all the plans that come to this very moment. Uh, everything's ready, Taj, for this um, uh, largest education roadshow in Sri Lanka. And we all are excited and um, all the marketing uh, activities have done, so we are just waiting for the students to come and meet um, 30 university representatives from yeah, Australia. That's amazing and it's always exciting, right? So tell me how you select the universities for uh, the students in Australia. Tash, actually the you know, uh, students are the ones who select the universities and we help and guide them in selecting it. Usually the uh, students they select the world ranking universities and the top uh, 3% of the world ranking. Uh, but uh, I always suggest students to um, look for the subject ranking as well. Yes. And also um, the subject content which is useful for their um, future careers um, plus affordability. Yes, for sure. Now, assuming everything goes well for the student and uh, they actually get the chance to go to Australia and uh, fulfill their dreams, what steps do you take to make them feel a little bit more comfortable once they arrive in Australia? Well, Tash, that's the specialty of Jiva Education. Uh, we do have two uh, offices in Australia, one in Melbourne and one in Brisbane. And I do personally live in Australia. So all our students are welcome to uh, talk to me at any time um, if they come across with any problems while they are in Australia. And we do offer the facilities in finding accommodation, part-time jobs, airport pickup, uh, and our services will not end from Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So we are looking after them while they are in Australia. Oh, so you're giving them the guidance from point A to point B all throughout? Until they finish their studies. Okay, that's amazing. I would like to add something, Tash, uh, yes. uh, in, in terms of the question uh, you told, you asked, we'll assume if the students get the visa, yes. there is nothing to assume. Yes. If the student comes to Jiva, he or she definitely will get the visa because that's that's what our service is up to. Yeah, for sure. And you always strive to look for the better part of them. So you guys have been doing this for quite a while. Jiva Education is known all throughout Sri Lanka and the Australian Education Roadshow. What else do you guys have in store in terms of your plans for the future? Tash, um, we have been in this industry for more than 15 years. Yes. So first of all, we want to uh, expand our uh, services into the other part of Sri Lanka as well, especially the northern area. Um, as well as we want to be the market leader in this industry in South Asia, yes. not only in Sri Lanka, but South Asian region in next five years. Um, plus, um, we are the, planning to expand our Australian operation into other states as well. Mm -hmm. Not only to Melbourne and Brisbane, but to other states as well to um, facilitate other students. Alright, that's exciting. Uh, and also, uh, within the next five years, Jiva Education will be an international brand. That's the main focus. That's the main focus. That's